Welcome to Easy Learn. In this video, we are going to implement 4 is to 1 marks using 2 is to 1 marks. So, here we are having 4 inputs and we are having 1 output and we need to find number of selection lines. Okay, so here 2 power 2 is equal to 4 therefore here we are having 2 therefore we need to have 2 selection lines and here I am considering yes not and yes one as selection lines okay so this 4 is to 1 marks to be implemented using 2 is to 1 marks okay so for example if you are considering it's 2 is to 1 means we will have 2 inputs 2 power 1 is equal to 2 therefore which is equal to 1 selection lines okay therefore for 2 is to 1 marks we need to have one selection lines okay therefore if you are considering 2 is to 1 marks means here we will have only two inputs okay but here we are having totally four inputs therefore here we need to have two 2 is to 1 marks at the input side Here we are having one selection line. Here also we will have one selection lines. Likewise, here the inputs I am considering it as four inputs. Therefore, D naught, D one. This is for first two is to one marks. Likewise, here also two is to one. So remaining inputs I am giving over here. Okay, D two and D three. Okay, so now we have included all the four inputs and here we will have one output likewise here also we will have one output okay so the multiplexer is to convert many to one input but here we are having again two inputs therefore here we need to go for another one two is to one max Two is to one marks. Here I am having selection lines. So these two output should be connected to the input line. Here we will have output okay so which is nothing but the single output of that particular multiplexer okay. so here the important thing is how we will give the selection lines here we are having two selection lines yes not and yes one yes not we have the least weight when compared to yes one Okay, therefore, in the first level, we need to st start with the least level. So, here we need to go for yes not. Likewise, the same selection line should be given to the first level. So, for example, here if it is 4 is to 1, here also 4 is to 1. For example, if we are considering it as an 8 is to 1 means, here we need to have selection lines. Okay, therefore, here the first selection line should be yes not and the second selection line should be yes one and 
when go for the next level you need to go for the next highest weight selection line okay so here in this case it's a 2 is to 1 okay so in the first level we need to have one selection line therefore first we are going for yes not in the second level here we are having one selection lines we can go for yes one now we can go for checking a condition okay so consider the truth table so here d3 d2 d1 d0 and selection lines s1 s0 and the output y here the selection lines are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and if 0 0 means the d0 content will be transferred to the output then remaining terms will be is don't care condition then when 0 1 d1 data will be transferred okay therefore here d1 remaining values are don't care at the output we will have the data of d1 then for the third condition here d2 data will be transferred and remaining input data are don't care then for 1 1 condition d3 data will be transferred so here we will have d3 okay so now we will go for checking a condition okay here we are having the selection line as 1 0 okay so in the first level we are having s not value is equal to 0 that means here it will be 0 here it will be 1 here 0 here its value equal to 1 like this here its value 0 here its value equal to 1 so s not value is 0 therefore the first line that means the line represented by 0 will be selected okay so if it is 1 means this line will be selected okay so here in this 2 is to 1 max here we are giving the s not value as 1 therefore at the output d not will be selected so this d not will be passed through to the output likewise here s not is 0 therefore d2 value will be transferred to output okay so that will be connected to the next 2 is to 1 marks okay so here first input d not is connected now in the second input d2 is connected okay now we are checking the second selection line okay so here the second selection line is 1 okay so if the input is 1 means here this input is blocked and this input is allowed to transfer to the output okay therefore at the output we will get the data of d2 will be transfer okay so it may be 0 or 1 or continuous inputs of zeros and 1 okay but if there are any change in other inputs won't be transferred to the output okay so d2 is transferred to output okay so this is the implementation of 4 is to 1 max using 2 is to 1 max next we are going to implement 16 is to 1 using 4 is to 1 max so here total number of inputs is 16 and its output is equal to 1 okay so number of inputs okay 16 inputs and 2 power 4 is equal to 16 okay therefore 4 selection lines okay so here i am considering the selection lines as s0 s1 s2 and s3 and here we need to implement it using 4 is to 1 marks okay therefore in the 4 is to 1 we will have number of inputs as 4 and selection lines 2 power 2 okay so each 
multiplexer we will have two selection lines therefore here we are having total inputs of 16 okay if you divide 16 by 4 we will get 4 therefore at the input side that means that's the first level we need to have 4 4 is to 1 multiplexer likewise in the second level here we will have 4 outputs from the first level okay therefore that should be converted into a single line that can be done using a yeah, 4 is to 1 max therefore in the first level we will have 4 4 is to 1 max and in the second level we will have 1 4 is to 1 max So here 4 is to 1, 4 is to 1, 4 is to 1, 4 is to 1. Therefore, 4 inputs 0, 1, 2, 3. Here also 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we will have a single output. Then here for 4 is to 1 we must have two selection lines or two selection lines here also two selection lines then here we are considering it's of 16 is to 1 therefore i am starting it with d naught okay so here d naught d1 d2 and d3 here for the next 4 is to 1 here i am starting with d4 so d5 d6 d7 here d8 d9 d10 d11 d12 d13 d14 d15 okay therefore we are having 16 inputs okay then here we are having four outputs to convert this four into one we need to use a four is to one multiplexer input 0 1 2 3 for 4 is to 1 we need to have two selection lines and we will have one output therefore the output of first 4 is to 1 will be connected to the zero inputs are next 4 is to 1 multiplexer the second input is connected to the pin 1 of next level 4 is to 1 next input will be connected to pin number 2 then last one will be connected to pin number 3 and here we will have the output okay. so here the selection lines are S0, S1, S2 and S3 okay. so starting from the first level here we need to start from the least one okay so here s naught is least and s3 is most significant therefore we need to start from the least significant so in the first level we need to have two selection lines therefore we can use the first two okay therefore here it's a least one therefore s naught then here it's a s one okay keep it in mind it should be from right to left in the first level likewise here also s naught s1 here also s naught 
S1, here also S0, S1. Okay. So, first level is over, then we are moving on to the second level. So, in the second level, here it is 4 is to 1 marks, therefore, we need to have two selection lines. So, here we are having the selection lines as S2 and S3. Therefore, here we will have the value as S2, S3. Okay. So, if you replace it, that means if you go with the value of S3, S2 means it will end up with wrong answer. Therefore, keep it in mind. Here, inside the marks, the right side will have the least value and the left side will have most significant values. Now, we will check the implementation. So, consider the selection lines values as 1, 1, 0, 0, which is nothing but the value equivalent to 8 plus 4, okay, 12, okay. Therefore, the input D12 should be selected for this input condition or selection lines condition 1100 0, 0, okay so now we will give the input to this input mark so here this one is s0 value this one is s1 value therefore if you give the value s0 s1 is equal to 0 0 means the zeroth inputs of first level marks will be selected okay so here at 0 we are having the value d not okay so zero the input is d4 like we see here at zero d a here at zero d 12 okay so now we are moving on to the second level okay so here all the outputs of first four raised to one marks will be connected okay so here the first zero pin is connected with d naught pin number one is connected with d4 number 2 is connected with d8 number 3 is connected with d12 okay so now we will go for the second set of selection lines here s2 and s3 here s2 value is 1 s3 value is 1 therefore 1 1 will select the third pin okay therefore d12 will be transferred to the output Likewise, if you want, you can go for checking the other values also.